Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my dear class, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, how are you? Hey, people, congratulations. You did a very good job on the platform. Todos hicieron un gran trabajo en la plataforma. Felicidades a todos. Thank you. you did a very, very nice job. Welcome to another day, another class. It is a pleasure for me to have you here and for sure to uh, have the opportunity to actually enjoy another class. So let me open my presentation. There we go. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, Lore. Hello, Liana. Hello, Janet. Hello, Ruth. Hello. Joanna. Hi, Good evening, says Ruth. That is so nice. It is very nice to have you here. How was your weekend, people? ¿Qué tal el fin? What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Um, um, <laughs> oh, you went to church, right? You went to church mm -hmm. and you went to work. Um, Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, uh, um, a trabajar. You went to work. You went to work. Well, my dear students, ah, you went to church. Uh, <laughs> you went to church or to the shopping. Well, that is so nice that you could have the chance to actually rest a little bit and work and for sure uh, to do many of the different things during your week, okay? So today we are going to be working a little bit about uh, places in town. We are going to work a little bit on the different places around the city, right? That is, that is our class for today. Welcome everybody. Thank you. Janet says that she was at home during the week. Well, let's work here. So my dear students, welcome to another day in another class. Remember, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time that it's really necessary. Please, uh, it is part of our agreements of the class. Thank you very much for doing it. Keep your cameras on all the time. I cannot see Alejandro. I cannot see Lorena, Marvin, Eli, Arabella. I cannot see your camera, so please help me with that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Juan Carlos. I can see it now. Claudita, it's all black. I cannot see it. But, and for sure, keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. So, today we're going to start a little bit by reviewing some of the places in town, right? We have different, different places around the city, right? Just around your house, you have many different places and I know you visit most of them. What do you think is the most favorite, what do you think is the most famous place in town for people to go and visit? What is the most famous place in town for people to go and visit? ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que es el lugar más famoso de todas las ciudades para la gente? Mm. The restaurants, the mall, the, I don't know, the clothing store, the shoe store. 
Which one do you think is the most famous? Ajá. ¿Cuál es el preferido de todos? It's a supermarket. Uh, maybe the, the, super <laughs> the supermarket. The supermarket. Yeah. And the cinema. The cinema, the supermarket. I think the supermarket. The wings, right? Like, <laughs> salida de señor o señora. Vamos al super. <laughs> Just to be walking around the supermarket and doing nothing, right? I think another very, very famous person for people is the mall, right? Everybody goes to Metro Centro, to Galerías, to La Gran Vía, and in some cases to do nothing, but just to go, right? People just go and do things. So today we're going to start by studying a little bit of these places in town. I have here a couple of examples, right? Aquí tengo unos cuantos ejemplos. What places do you see in the pictures, people? You see a bank? A bank. What else? A drugstore. A drugstore. A gas station. A gas station. A restaurant. A, restaurant. a post office. And a bookstore. A bookstore. Tell me, people, if I want to buy, if I want to buy some aspirins, where can I go? Drugstore. Drug to the drugstore. Drug okay. Drug okay. Store. If you say the drugstore, it's like it's a different type of store, like a drugstore. Drugstore. Okay. Then the drugstore is la droguería, pero no la droguería de drogas. Es la farmacia. People. If I. Yes. If I need to buy. If I need to buy a Harry Potter book, where do I go? Ah, the cinema. If I need to buy a book, a bookstore. Ah, the book to the bookstore, book right? Book if I need some you can money, library, a bank, a bank. Okay, good, 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 good. Before everything, uh, let me see here. The library. The, the library and the bookstore. What is the difference? In this case, in the bookstore, in the bookstore, you can go, you can go and read books and you can also go and get some books, but uh, it is just that, okay? A una bookstore, se puede ir a prestar libros, puede ir a leer los libros, puede ir a, uh, in some cases, to buy some books, books only. But when you say, uh, for example, sorry, the library, that's something that you can do in the library. But if you go to a bookstore, you have everything there, right? So if you go to the library, you can only go and uh, read things, right? And the bookstore, in the bookstore, you can go and buy everything. In the bookstore, you can find paper, lapices, borradores, sacapuntas, everything. Okay, but on the library, you can go and read, lend books, give books, and buy books, right? On the library. On the bookstore, it's what you call la papelería o la librería for us in Spanish, right? La librería de nosotros es bookstore. Donde vas a comprar desde un clip hasta cientos de pliegos de cartulina, right? So that's a bookstore. And a library es una biblioteca, okay? So that's like kind of the difference here. If I want to eat something, where do I go? Uh, where? Uh huh. Oh, fine. Where do I go if I want to eat something? A restaurant. A restaurant, right? A restaurant. And if I and if I need some gasoline for my car, to the gas station, right? And if I want to send a package to the United States, post office. to the post, post office. office, right? To the post office. So here, I have a little uh, puzzle. What type of places in town can you see here? Market, market. Por ahí tienen un lapicito en su, en su pantalla. 
drugstore, calle. Tercera. Uy, what is that? <laughs> okay, bookstore, yes. <laughs> Los otros machetazos no sé qué son. That's okay. The drugstore, good. The bookstore, the hotel, good. The supermarket. ¿Dónde está el lapicito? It is there. Arriba donde está. Ahí está el lapicito. Donde están las opciones de, la, de compartir pantalla. Donde está la barra de compartir pantalla. Ahí le puede dar clic y le sale un lápiz. Que dice... Restaurant, restaurant. Restaurant, bookstore, very good. Drugstore. Okay, very good. The hotel. Well, the bank. Very... Bank. Okay. The bank. <laughs> Thank you, Arabel. Okay, we have the hotel. We have the bookstore. We have the what is this one? A story. A story time, okay. Drugstore. No encuentro el lapicito. <laughs> so give me the. <laughs> there you go, the restaurant. <laughs> the bank, the supermarket. Another one. Bien, ahorita. Okay. What about this one? <laughs> Here is the post Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah, the post office, yes. Thank you, Joanna. That was very nice. <laughs> that was very good. Okay, good, good, good. good. Post office teacher. <laughs> Any other one? El lapicito. <laughs> you haven't found it. Ahí está el lapicito. Yo lo he encontrado que no todo lo que quiera. Bueno, ahí está, ya le pegaste el rayón, ve. Eli, you found it. <laughs> Ajá, eso estoy viendo, de ahí cabales a las líneas de ahí, para, para que lo encuentre. <risa> ok, any other one? Any other one, people? No? no. I think it's, it's just with those that we have are okay, okay? We have the post office. Right, the gas station, the bank. We also have the supermarket. We also have the restaurant. Okay, we have the restaurant. We have the bookstore and the drugstore. Right, good job. You have. You did a very good job with the uh, with the crossword in the letters. I am going to erase your beautiful drawings. Lamento borrar sus bellos dibujos, but we need the, the screen. <clears throat> so here, my dear class, more examples. We have more examples of places in town. And I know you are going to recognize many of them. Here, what is this? Just <laughs> what, what about this place? This is one of the most Es como cuando a los niños les enseño cómo ocupar la crayola. De pupú. Arabe. Arabella keeps writing. The pupusas place. What is the pupusas place? It's that little beautiful paradise where you can go and get your pupusas near your house, right? The pupusas place es ese puestecito chiquito que está ahí cerca de su casa where you can go to Niña Mari, Niña Mari. Three mixed pupusas, please. One with loroco and the other two normal, right? The park. Do you have a park near your house, people? ¿Hay algún parque cerca de sus casas? Any bookstore? Yes. ¿Alguna librería? And what about a library? ¿Hay alguna biblioteca también por ahí? No. 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 Is there a bar near your house? Yes. Yes. Hotels? 
Mm, yes. But hotels, hotels, right? No. The grocery, the grocery store. What is the grocery store? That is the little store that is near your house. Okay. La tiendita. So the grocery store is where you go and say, like, Buenas, good ones, hello. And then you ask for a consomme, you ask for a tomato, cheese. Uh, la tienda, la tienda. Yes, the little store, but the little ones, oh, right? Yes. No. yes. The discotheque, where you can go dancing, right? The hospital. Well, the hos is there a hospital yes. near your house? Yes. 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 Many doctors, many nurses. Uh, many doctors and many nurses, right? Is there a bakery near your house? Bakery yes. is bread. bread. Yes, the bakery is where people make yes. bread, right? The police station. Yes. Yeah, yes, the police teacher. station. Yes. A car garage. What is this? It is not the garage in your house. Yes. A car yes. garage. The house, is... yes, a garage. No, 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 no. But this. One. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we can all see. Vaya. No, no, no. Oh, thank you. The car garage, the car garage is un taller, right? El taller uh, donde se puede llevar el carro, right? That is a car garage. It is not a car wash, right? It is not a car wash. The car garage is where people can go and fix your car, right? This one. The car garage, right? This is the taller, the taller automotriz, right? The funeral parlor. What is a funeral parlor? Una funeraria, right? What about the next one? The butcher shop. The butcher shop is la carnicería, right? Where you can go and buy the carnita for eh, el asado, right? That's a butcher shop. That is the butcher shop. The hardware store. What is a hardware store? Montenegro. Um, what is Como a hardware store? Una tienda de, de, de computadora, va. De accesorios no. para computadora. No. A hardware store is una ferretería. Ah, yes. Ferretería. Dos, tengo dos, tres, por falta de uno. That's a hardware store. The veterinarian? Mm, yes. The clinic is the normal little hospital that we have near our houses, right? That it's the clinic, right? Like for salud, right? For salud is a little clinic. What yes, about look. the next one? The dental clinic, right? When you go to yes. the dentist, the beauty salon where you can go and fix your hair and everything. Yes. The church. church. Yes. And iglesia. Yes. La iglesia, right? And here you have the barber shop that is for the men. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you have an ice cream shop. That's, we Pero have batería. a lot, yes. right? Yes. A lot of saritas, a lot of neveria, everywhere. Right? The pet shop. The pet shop is not the veterinarian, but the pet shop is where you can go and buy things for your pets. Okay. Tienda para mascotas, right? You have a tienda para mm -hmm. mascotas. That's a pet shop. Mm -hmm. The main hall. The main hall is la alcaldía. Yes. You have the main hall. The airport. The theater. The we have one in, in the center of San Salvador, right? The gym, the university, the school, the daycare center. What is the daycare center? Un spa, un salón, no. No. The daycare center is for little kids, for babies. Or for Guardería. little children. Guardería. Exactly like that. Guardería. The daycare center. The tire repair shop. Sí, de llanta, sí. De llanta, right? Una llantería. The zoo, you know what it is. The restaurant, sí. the computer shop, the dry cleaner, the dry cleaner is la lavandería, very good. The spa, the spa, yes, it is the place where you can go and have 
a beauty day, right? That's the spa. En el spa, sí. Ahí sí podemos ir al envejecimiento, el masaje, all these things. So, this is the spa. The shoe shop. Zapatería. Zapatería, right? The museum. The chapel, right? Chapel es como la capilla. For different religions, right? The bus station. The supermarket, right? Here we also have different places like the pharmacy and the drugstore, right? The pharmacy and the drugstore that are... Okay, let me just... I need to find the, the noise. There you go. <laughs> the pharmacy and the drugstore are the same thing, right? The nursery... <clears throat> what is a nursery, people? Any idea? Enfermería. Una enfermería, ajá. Huh? The shopping mall. Metro Centro, Galería. All these things. Those are shopping malls, right? Shopping malls, we have a lot here in San Salvador. In El Salvador, we have everywhere, right? The kindergarten, the stores. Stores are in general, right? Que la tiendita de la casa, un, una venta de dólar, something like that, right? Those are little stores. The market. Si alguna vez le falta, le falta amor, vaya al mercado. There you are going to receive a lot, right? Pase mi amor, que va a querer? Hola, Chelito, hola, guapo, hola, no sé qué, que va a llevar? Okay. So they have everything for you on the market, right? The soccer field, do you have any soccer field near your house? Bueno, pregunta fútbol. ¿Alguna cancha cerca de su casa? No. The stadium is It's a big, big, big stadium, right? The stadium is something bigger, right? The swimming pool, the nursery garden. The nursery garden is <clears throat> el vivero. The nursery garden is el vivero. Then you have the gas station, the sports place. It's like como el gimnasio, right? For yes. you to go and do exercise or play or have fun. Whatever thing you can go and do it there. You also have the port. I don't know if any of you lives near the beach. No sé si alguno de ustedes vive cerca de la playa. You have the port. The factories. Are... Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos. Okay. So if you live near the beach, you have the port near. Por ahí está el puerto, right? Factories are in general. Fabricas. Monuments. We have a lot, a lot, a lot around the city. Viewpoints. What is the meaning of viewpoints? No, no. Miradores. Miradores. Exactly. Miradores. Miradores. The liquor store is where you can go and buy all these type of, of drinks, right? The mini Cantina. market. Exactly like that. The mini market is a bigger grocery store. Okay. Ya no es la tiendita de la niña Mari, but ya tiene ya refries, ya tiene... ¿Cómo se llaman estas cosas donde ponen las sodas? Es un mini super. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't really remember the name. Cámaras. <laughs> Cámaras de soda and things. So that is a mini market because it is a little bit bigger. Here you have uh, the taxi station, the post office, the fire station, right? You also have jail. Alguna prisión, alguna cárcel. The rescue station. Yo sería como la Cruz Verde, la Cruz Roja. Right? The temple. El templo para las diferentes iglesias. The car wash. The judge center. That is like los juzgados. The laundromat. Eh, la lavandería. The flower shop. The souvenir store. Donde va a comprar todos los recuerditos y las artesanías. The graveyard. Is el eh, cementerio. The embassy. The radio station. Customs. Customs is la frontera. Okay. And the recreation place. Those are different places that you can have around your house. Is there any place that I didn't mention and you want to know the name? Hay algún lugar que esté cerca de su casa y no esté incluido en todo este montón que les puse aquí? No? 
Yes? ¿Dónde eh, mencionó la panadería, teacher? Bakery. The, the bakery. 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 Thank you. Next, uh, it's under the hospital, right here. The bakery. So, based on this, right, based on this one, I have here a couple more examples. And I will make it smaller. If I need to buy bread, people, if I need to buy bread, where do I go from all these places? If I need to buy bread, you can to buy uh, bread and in, a bakery. In, the in bakery. The, in the bakery, right? In the bakery. Very good. How do you create the sentences? And let me just make it for you. Here you have it, right? You can buy bread at a bakery, for example. Here you have another example. You can buy aspirin at the drugstore. Here, I'm going to write mine. You can buy bread at the bakery. Okay, you can buy bread at the bakery. I need to buy shoes. The shoe store. Ajá, sigamos el ejemplo de la oración que les di. You can, you can buy. You can buy shoes at the, the shoe, store. shoe store. Exactly, you can buy shoes at the shoe store. I need, a, I need some tomatoes. You can buy tomatoes at the market. You can buy tomatoes at the market. Ahora, piensen ustedes en algo que necesiten comprar. And we are going to give you an answer. I need... What? I need a blouse. I need a blouse. You can buy it a blouse at the... Um, shopping mall. At the shopping mall. Very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see. Janet, what do you need? ¿Qué necesita comprar, Janet? Invent anything. You can buy. No, I uh, need. Y nosotros I le damos need, la respuesta. I need what? I need. Um, uh, pupusas. <laughs> I need pupusas. You can buy pupusas. Vamos, ayudémosle a Janet. ¿Dónde puede ir a comprar las pupusas? You can, buy pupusas, pupusas, pupusas you can buy pupusas, pupusas place. You can buy pupusas, pupusas place. You can buy pupusas at the pupusas place. Where else? ¿Dónde más puede comprar pupusas? Mm. At Olocuilta. <laughs> in Olocuilta, porque es una ciudad. You can buy pupusas in Olocuilta. Uh -huh. At the restaurant. Planes, ah, okay. planes the de renderos. In planes de renderos, right? You can buy pupusas at the restaurant. You can buy pupusas at the supermarket. Frozen one. Congeladas, pero you can buy. Ajá, uh -huh. let me see. <laughs> Eli, what do you need? Uh, I need... I need uh, shoes. Okay, Eli needs shoes. Ajá, huh? ayuden a Eli. ¿Qué puede hacer? ¿Dónde puede ir? You can buy shoes at shopping mall. At the shopping mall. You can buy shoes at the shopping mall. Where else? ¿Dónde más puede ir? At the, shoe, shop. At the shoe store. At the shoe store, at the shoe shop. Good. Let me see. Liana, what do you need? Um, I need... I don't know. <laughs> I need to buy gasoline. A uh, gasoline, huh? She, Liana needs gasoline. You can buy the gas station. You can buy gasoline at the gas station, right? Very good. Let okay. me see. Carlos Alberto, what do you need? I need to buy the ball, the ball soccer. Okay, he needs to buy a soccer ball. The chair. Uh -huh. Para decir que ella o él necesita, eh, uno dice, 
she can buy or, or she, eh, she can, okay she can buy you don't change it right no necesita la s no no in that case no okay so you say she can buy shoes at the shoe store for example okay also with going to you don't change it that you say she is going to she can cook for example you don't say she can cooks because it's it's not necessary to change anymore. Okay. Okay, so uh, Carlos needs a soccer ball. Soccer ball, yes. Where can he go? Donde puede ir a comprar una pelota? You can buy soccer ball and the shopping mall. At the shopping mall, very good. People, I want to buy a cat. Where can I go? We can buy a, a pet. pet at the pet shop. You can buy a pet, pet, pet at the pet shop. Very good. Ruth, what do you need? I need aspirin. She needs an aspirin. Where can we buy an aspirin? You can buy pharmacy. pharmacy. You can buy an aspirin at? At the drugstore. At the drugstore, at the pharmacy. Very good. Raul Antonio, what do you need? The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listening. I cannot listen to you. ¿Cómo dice cortar el cabello? I need to cut my hair. I need to cut my hair. My hair, hair. My hair. You can cut your hair at? Your uh -huh. hair. Yep. You can buy the barber shop. I, I can buy the barber shop? No, you pero, can go. Ese, teacher, ese es un servicio, ¿verdad? Ajá, así, no, no, muy bien. No, 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 no. En ese caso, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, I need to cut my hair. Necesito cortarme el pelo. So you say, you can cut your hair, you can cut your hair at the barber shop. So you can say, I, I need, for example, I need financial help. You can get financial help at the bank, right? I need to mail a letter. Necesito enviar una carta. You can mail a letter at the post office okay there is an emergency in my house you can call who there is an emergency in my house you can call what jesus hello jesus a donde hablarían si tienen una emergencia en su casa Una emergencia de juez. You can buy and the... ¿Cómo se dice? Grocery. Ferretería. No, no, no. You can call, okay? You can call a fire station. Okay, imagine that if I say this one. I am going to write it right here in front of this one. There is a fire in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. There is a fire in my neighborhood. Hay un incendio en la colonia. So you say, you yeah. can call For the fire, fire station. You can call the fire station, right? You can call the police. You can call, a, I don't know, the rescue center. But you use it like this. If you need a service, for example, uh, let me just share this one. I am going to give you different examples, like the one that Raul shared. Here, for example, it says like, I need a haircut. I need a haircut. Necesito un corte de pelo. In this case, you don't say, you can buy. Porque yo no voy a comprar la barbería. Say like, you can go to the barber shop. Okay? You can go to the barber shop. Porque ibas a obtener ese servicio. But if you say, I need to buy 
I need to buy a I need to buy a car. Okay, I need to buy a car. Say like you can you go to the can, dealer. You, you can, can buy a car uh, on the dealer. Okay? Or you can go if you know the name, for example, if you know the name of the place, you can say you can go to a Grupo Q, for example. Just to give you one example. You can go to Grupo Q, right? That is another example of how you can do it. You can you can find one in Facebook market, you say. You can check on Facebook market. You never know, right? Hay muchas ofertas, right? You can check on Facebook market. So I gave you three options there, how to answer this type of questions, okay? So, based on this one, let's continue here with the presentation. Volvamos a la presentación donde estaba. Here we go. So, in this one, the little cat needs to buy bread. Where can we go? I need to buy bread. To buy bread. You can buy bread. At the, bakery. Bakery. at the bakery. bakery. I need to buy a dictionary. At the bookstore. Book you can buy a dictionary at, at the bookstore. Okay, gasoline. Liana said it. A sandwich. A sandwich. You can buy a sandwich at the restaurant. Good. I need stamps. Estampillas. You can, be, uh, you can buy. You can buy library. At the, library. At the, library. At the post office, right? At the post oh. office. A sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. Una sudadera. Un suéter. A sweatshirt. You can buy a sweatshirt. Shopping mall. At the shopping mall. You can buy a sweatshirt at the shopping mall, right? At the shopping center. <laughs> you can buy a sweatshirt there. So, I have a, a little conversation here for us to practice, right? And I am going to ask Eli and Joanna to help me. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there are a public rest from Aaron Hair. Go ahead, go ahead. Después lo corrió. A public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there a restroom in the department department store on my street. Where where on my street? It's it's on the corner of Five and First Avenue. 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 On, on the corner on my um, first. Yes, it's across for the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, good. Good for the effort. Very good. Muy bien que se saltan a la aventura. Así como, no sé cómo se dice teacher, pero I will try it, right? New words or new vocabulary? Palabras nuevas o vocabulario nuevo? Teacher, I don't know the meaning of this. Or teacher, what is the meaning of? Around here. Around here. Around here. En around. Este, around here. Alrededor de aquí. Excuse me. You say, excuse me. Can you help me? Podría ayudarme? Can you help me? 
is there a public restroom right around here? What is the meaning of restroom? Es un baño, un baño público, right? The restroom is public. The bathroom is private. Okay? El bathroom es el que está en su casa. No me va a decir que va a Metro Centro a usar el bathroom. No, en Metro Centro you use a restroom because it's public. Okay? Si estuviéramos en clases presenciales y me dice, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Yo le diría, ¿hasta su casa? <laughs> And then you say, no, teacher, the restroom. Ah, the restroom, go ahead. Right? Is there a public restroom around here? Right? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. He's like, no, no creo. Oh, no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street, right? The ones that are on the mall, right? Hay unos baños, pero allá en el, en el mall, en el department store. And it's just like, where on Main Street? ¿A dónde? Si la Main Street es como de 10 kilómetros. Ah, it's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner. En la esquina. esquina. En la esquina. Right? Mm -hmm. On the corner of. On the corner of. Main. Main and First, right? Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. And it says that, yeah, across from the park. Across from, al cruzarnos de, across from the park. Del parque. You can't miss it. No te puedes perder. No te puedes perder. Thanks a lot. Right, you can't miss it. So, practice with me. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? A public restroom? A public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. I'm sorry, I don't think so. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. Oh, no. My song needs a restroom. My song needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, there's a restroom in the department store. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First. It's in the corner of Main and First Avenue. Very good. Ah, you are you are reading. You are not repeating. That's nice. On the corner of Main and First. <laughs> On the corner, the corner of, the main of Main and First. And first. And first. Yeah, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Yeah, yes, it's yes, yes. across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks. 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 What is the meaning of thanks a lot? Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias. Right? Muchas. If you say thanks, it's gracias. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. <laughs> right? Demasiadas gracias. Se you ocupa para, like, como, como para algo más, más formal. Yeah. We say like, oh, thanks a lot. It's like, muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Right? In some cases, you say like, okay, thanks. Si le digo yo ahí, me ayudó y toda la cosa. Ah, thanks. And I leave. He's like, oh, ve, ni le hubiera ayudado más. <laughs> Or there are some people who never say thanks. It's like, ah, en la esquina, vaya. And they leave and they don't even say thanks. So that is the difference. Okay, like, oh, thanks a lot. Right? You really appreciate the help of the person. So here we have different types of prepositions of place and also some compound nouns. Compound nouns are the ones that are created from two different nouns, okay? The ones that are created from two nouns. For example, post office, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, book department store, right? Those are compound nouns. Compound nouns that are made up from different two words. 
here we have many more, right? The daily store, the convention center, the rescue center, the laundromat, the souvenir store, the butcher shop, right? Those are also compound now, right? The gas station, la estación de gasolina, the post office, la oficina. Hasta abajo. Right? So you say the department store, la tienda de departamentos, right? There you have a lot of compound nouns. That was just a little tip. But from these uh, different places, we also have prepositions of place. The prepositions of place are going to help us uh, know where something is located. And for this one, we have on, que es sobre la calle, right? On. You cannot say it is in Main Street, porque no está metido adentro de la calle, está sobre la calle. On. On the corner of? En la esquina, right? Across from? Al cruzar de. Next to? A la par, right? Next to. And you have between? Que está en medio de. En medio de. Ok. So, on. Sería sobre algo, sobre la so, calle, right? On. In front of? Sería en frente, en frente de o frente a, right? Behind sería? Detrás de. Detrás de. Detrás de. Okay. ok. Across from, al cruzar de, next to, a la par, in between, en medio. Ok. En medio. En medio. And here we have some sentences. Joanna, can you help me read the first sentence? The department. Joanita, nos ayudas con la primera oración? The, that department store is on May Street. Very good. Juan, can you help me with the next one? The next one, it's on the corner of? It's on the corner of oh. May and first. Very good. Uh, Alejandro, can you help me with the next one? It's across from the park. It's across from the park. Raul, the next one. It's next to the park. The bank. Next to the bank. Very good. Ruth, can you help me with the next one? The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Very good. The, par the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Good. So based on this one, based on the different prepositions of, of place, here I have another example. I have here different places in town. Okay. And if I say People, help me find, help me find the post office. Where is the post office? It's, it's a, a corner of... Next to the hospital. Okay. The post yeah. office is? A corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just find uh, here. Let me get, okay, let me do something. Oh, center Street. Okay, here. I am going to write it on the chat. So you say the post office, the post office is on, on the corner of, right? On the corner of Center Street. And Second Avenue. And Second Avenue. Very good. ¿Por qué? Porque usamos las dos calles, right? The post office is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Para ser más específicos, the post office on Second Avenue is next, next to the to, hospital. Next to the hospital? Yes. The post office is next to the hospital and across from across. Second Avenue. Bookstore. 
Oh, across from the bookstore, right? Está al cruzar la biblioteca, la librería, sorry. The post office is across from, it's across from the bookstore. So, in this case, there you have the different, uh, the different phrases that you can use, right? It is across from, right? Al cruzar CD, porque se tiene que cruzar la calle. It's across from the bookstore. And here you have the next, right? That is to be very specific about a place. And in this case, we were very specific about the post office. We have three different forms to say. The post office is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. It is next to the hospital and it's across from the bookstore. Now, teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. Y se puede decir um, in front of bookstore? In front? No, because it is not like this. Well, depending, right? Wait. Si de repente estuviera aquí parado, yeah, it, it would be like in front of, right? Uh -huh. Si el edificio estuviera viendo como para el otro lado, tal vez. Y estuvieran uh -huh. así como, por ejemplo, quiero ver. ¿El eh, supermarket en eh, María Restaurant? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, no. No, because uh -huh. it's, it's there. Imagine the, the bank and the movie theater. Sí. The bank is in front of the movie theater because the movie theater is like this. So, it is like, enfrente me queda, como lo que está al otro lado de su casa. Right? Okay. So, Gracias. the park, for example, is in, is in front of the department store, but it's also across from. In these cases, si hay una calle que nos tenemos que cruzar, es mejor ocupar across from. Across from. It's better, right? So, you, you don't get confused. So, tell me, people, where is the bank? And I need you to send me the sentences on the chat. Así como yo les envié las, las oraciones. The bank is between the, the department store and restaurant. Uh -huh. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. More specifically? The in which street? On which street? The bank. Main street. The bank of... Is on Main Street. The, the bank, bank is on is Main on Street. Main Street. Very good. Okay. Across from what? Across from the movie theater. Across yeah, from the theater. movie theater. Movie theater. Very good. You can say the city bank is next to the department store. Is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. It is across from the movie theater on Main Street. Nobody loses the bank because you we know you can't miss it right it's right there where is david's drugstore where is david's drugstore next to supermarket so you say david's drugstore is <laughs> Davis Drugstore um, is is uh, next to supermarket. Next to the supermarket. Next to the supermarket. On on Second Avenue. On Second Avenue and third Center Street. Mm, yeah, yeah, we can say that it's on on the corner, right? So in that case, si lo tomáramos como que todo es la, la, la farmacia, it's, like it's on the corner of Second Avenue and Center Street. Across from? Maria's Restaurant. Maria's Restaurant. Very good. People, where is the gas station? Where is the gas station? Gas station, gas station is on corner. On the corner? First, or on the corner of First mm -hmm. Avenue. On the corner of First Avenue and? Siempre que ocupamos on the corner of street. Son las dos calles. Good, good, good. Uh, okay. On the corner Second of First street. Avenue and Center Street. Across from? 
Across from the parking. The parking. The parking. Very good. Across from the parking. Very good job. Very good job. I have here, let me see. On this one, I have I have a specific places here. This one is going to be a little bit easier. So in this one says, look at the map and we are going to complete the sentences. It's the same map, okay? And we have the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's the shoe store. The let's, second. let's go and see. The coffee shop. It's on Second Avenue. Second Avenue. It says, let me see here, here, here. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Is the shoe store. Chan, chan, chan. Veamos. The coffee shop. Where are you? Ah. The coffee it, shop is next across to. Across from supermarket. It is across from the. No, here is the coffee shop. No, look, 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 look. Aquí está la coffee favorite shop. Shoes. The favorite shoes is next to. So in this case, I end up as a detective. So it says here, the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It is next from, to. Yes. Next to. The shoe store. Next to the shoe store, right here, 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 here. Okay, the coffee shop is next to the next shoe to the shop. Shoe. Next to the shoe shop. And what about this one? Let's go to the next one. The movie theater is park and name. It's across, a cross. A la par, a la par del parque. Okay, the movie theater is a cross from. Across from. Park Girl Street and Main Street. Uh, what will corner. be here? It's on the corner of. Very good. It's on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park and Main. It is the park. From. Very good. <laughs> ah, eso es un poquito complicado, pero ya una vez que se dice, ah, ya. Yeah. I, I, I got it. I got the map, right? Ya me ubiqué en el mapa. Entonces, el teatro, el, el movie theater, it's on the corner of Park Street and Main Street across from the park. Okay? The gas station is parking lot. The gas station is... Across from. Across from the parking lot. It's... First and center. On the corner of. It's on the corner of. Very good. The post office is center and second. The corner. The, the post office is on the corner. La cruce. Of, no, of, en, en la esquina. En second Avenue. Center and Second Avenue. Center Street. It is, it is the hospital. Mm -hmm. Next, next to the hospital. Next, next to the to hospital. Very good. The bank is the restaurant and the department store. Between. 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 Very good. And it says it is Main Street. It's on. It's on Main Street. Very good job, oh, my dear. Yeah. These prepositions are difficult to use, but we are going to practice a lot. We are going to practice more. So don't worry about it. Here, here I have a, a little map. Here I have a little map. And in this map of Fancy City, we are going to have different places, right? Here we have the fire station, the gas station, the park, the Japanese restaurant, etc. And I am going to share it with you. If not, I am going to share this one. Cualquiera de los dos le voy a, a compartir. And you are going to choose one place for you to tell me where is it located, ¿ok? Van a escoger uno de los lugares del mapa que les envíe y me van a decir con lujo de detalle dónde está, ¿ok? As many ways to do it. For example, you say like, it's on the corner, next to this, across from this, 
Uh, it is on this street, right? You have to tell me exactly in detail where the place is. Only one place, okay? So, but that is going to be for tomorrow's class. I am going to call the attendance and when you listen to your name, you can go to sleep, okay? Les voy a pasar lista y cuando escuchen su nombre, se pueden ir a acostar, okay? So, my dear class, I am going to call the attendance and when you listen to your name, you can say, Good night, because you are going to go. Let me see. Alejandro Joel. Present teacher, good night. Thank you, good night. Ana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, good night. Arabella. Thank you, good night. Carlos Alberto. Present. Good Thank night, you. teacher. Have a beautiful night. Carmen. Eh, Claudia. Present. Have a beautiful night. Denis Eliseo. Yes. Denis, have a beautiful night. Eli Antonio. Good night. Present. Good have night. a good night. Very good. Let's continue with uh, Eneida Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a beautiful good night. night. Janet Rosibel. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. Jennifer Alexandra. Jennifer. Okay. Eh, Joanna. Thank you. Have a good night. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Liana. Present. Have a good night. Eh, Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you, Dennis. I already called. Yes, Marvin. Have a good night. Yes, Thank you, good Odilia. Night. Me escucho, teacher. Yes, Lorena. Okay. Yes. Good night. Have a good night. Marvin, Odilia, Raúl. Present, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Ruth Marielos. Here, teacher. Have good a night. good night. Sandra Georgina. And let me see. Silvia Lisette. Here, teacher. Have a good beautiful night. night. Thank you. Odilia, have a beautiful night. You can leave now. Eli, have a beautiful night. Silvia and everybody. Rest a lot. See you tomorrow. Los veo mañana todos. Bye-bye.